Hi folks, we're back with the new Chief Steamer 75. This video I just want to entitle Time is Money. Now, if you're in the detailing business or you're in any kind of service business, you got to get things done fast. That, that's going to make you more money. The longer you spend on something, the customer doesn't care how long it takes you, you're charging them a certain price. So if a piece of your equipment you struggle with, struggle with meaning it takes you too much time to get the job done, or it breaks, now again, my machines are going to break, but if something breaks to the point where it's not worth fixing, why are you buying it in the first place? Now, I know that the McCullough is probably the most popular machine out there, and I wish I could sell a machine for $200, and I've seen that machine, I've had that machine in my hands. For what you get for that money, that's a damn good machine. It's not a bad machine at all, but I know they don't want it used on a commercial basis. There's no way that they want that machine used on a commercial basis. And the way they've made that machine, they can only make it so powerful based on the way it's priced and the components that they can put in it. So you're only gonna get a certain amount of performance out of that machine. So that machine is not gonna perform the way a better Italian steamer will. Now, I don't think a McCullough, I don't think you're gonna get that kind of volume Now again, this machine is not our 100 machine. It's not our 100 machine and even our old 75 machine, which was 85 PSI, but this is our entry level machine. But it's still 75 PSI and we're still using the exact same attachments. So if you look at our single hole nozzle, this is our single hole nozzle that's standard with every machine. If you look at the opening in that single hole nozzle, that's a pretty big opening. So that's gonna let a lot of volume of steam come out but we can do it with this machine and we can stay with the same orifice in the single hole nozzle because of the way the machine is built. So you're still gonna get really, really good performance out of this machine. Now, we also wanna do the math. We know it's not, a, this is not a $200 machine. We know that you're gonna buy two McCulloughs to one of these machines. So it still might lead you down the road of, well, why, why, why are you still pushing me to buy a Chief Steamer? This machine is more than double the price of a McCullough or one of the other cheaper entry-level machines out there. But the thing is performance and time. So the faster you get a job done, the quicker you go on to the next job at the same amount of money. Why wouldn't you want to finish a job 10 or 20 minutes faster, go on to the next job 10 or 20 minutes faster, go on to the third job 10 or 20 minutes faster when you can save a couple of hours in a day, get another interior done for the day? How much more money is that going to make you? How much more money is that going to save you? And how fast are you going to pay off a machine like this by spending the extra money? So yes, I am asking you to spend more money on my new Chief 75 compared to a McCullough, which I realize is a $200 machine, and I can't come close to that. I can't come close to $200, but it's my cheapest machine yet, still at an extremely high quality and easy serviceability. Look at our other video that we did on how easy this machine is to service. And again, I stock every single part. I could build a machine here if I needed to. So we're never gonna be short on parts. And if you ever need a part, my thing is tell me what's going on with the machine, I 95, more than 95% of the time diagnose it correctly over the phone and get you out the parts so you can fix it. So my pitch to you is this is the entry level machine to buy. Time is money, you're gonna save time, you're gonna make more money. If you can only buy an entry level machine, the new Chief 75 steamer is the one to buy.